All right, this is super full. Um, I took this out a few hours ago and it's pretty warm in here today. And I haven't shook it up yet or disturbed it or anything. And you can see it's starting to get separation in the top layer. This is as far as you want to let that go. And the bottom layer is actually still liquidy. So there'll be some fresh milk down here, some fresh food in the bottom. So since this bubbled up so much, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. Feed those grains. Those grains ran out of food. So we're putting some fresh milk at the top for them. Okay, now after I shook it up, no more grains on top, just a couple bubbles. I'll check this back and uh, we'll see how it does. Here we are at about 15 minutes later. Now, technically, I, yeah, if you wanted to, you could uh, go ahead and strain this now and then chill it. And by the time you drink it uh, later or the next day, it'll be perfect. We'll check this in another 15. All right, here we are, another 15 minutes later. She is done. You can see all the way from top to bottom. Just a slight way pockets forming. That is an absolutely finished off keeper. Once you get that chilled down, consistency is going to be perfect. Just like store-bought kefir. Could have taken it out 15 minutes ago. Would have been fine. See how easily that strains out. Never have trouble getting the grains out. I don't even really need to use the spatula. There's so much kefir in there. The grains are slippery. And the kefir's slippery. It's that slimy substance. You can see that cake batter. Lots of grains. Didn't even have to do anything. They just strained out by themselves. They're ready to go. one-handed.